Good morning, children. A very warm welcome to another session of our distance learning. I am Shailaja from Chaitvidya Mandir English High School and Junior College. Today's subject: English prose, class fifth, lesson twenty second. Topic: A book review. Video number twenty nine. Let's get started, children. Here are the meanings, children. Just give a reading. Here is the summary of the lesson, children. Just give a reading for better understanding. And before you proceed to the lesson, twenty-second, a book review. Children, what is a book review? First, a book review is nothing but the views of the reader about a certain book read. So whatever a reader reads, so there will be a review about it. Okay, a book review is nothing but the views of the reader about a certain book read. The reader judges the book on its content, style, and gives his views about the book. A review may be very short or may be lengthy. Viewers read the review and decide whether they have to purchase a book or not. If they like the review they buy it if they don't they'll just review is just a summary of the content of the book wherein the end part is left out to arouse curiosity in the reader so they don't give you full summary they they'll give you they'll just leave the end of it so that you have to read the book that is the magic there or that is their tactic okay so let's begin page number 57 george secret key to the universe a book review george's dad is an ardent environmentalist in fact both his parents are convinced that modern inventions of science and technology have caused a lot of damage on the earth they are committed to the cause of saving the planet they use a bicycle instead of a car there is a ban on tv and computers in their house they don't buy things like bread biscuits they eat only vegetarian and home cooked food they even use Candles to light the house to avoid using electricity. Poor George has to suffer a lot of jeering and ridicule from his friends because of all this. Actually, George doesn't think that either the TV or the computer is a bad thing. He has tried to tell his parents that it's. possible to save the earth using the computers and the internet but no in their house there can be any discussions on that issue george always likes to know why but who is to answer his questions his parents think that he is still too young to understand global issues one day however george unexpectedly acquires a new friend and next door neighbor annie and his father eric is a brilliant scientist and ever willing to answer all of george's questions eric has built a super super intelligent computer named cosmos cosmos has incredible powers it can literally open windows on the universe and take you to any planet star comet and even to a black hole and of course cosmos can also bring you back from there however cosmos depends entirely on the information that is fed into it by people by people like eric who do the research and thinking that can make cosmos work so george is a small boy a boy where george's dad is an 
environmentalist. Okay, he is more into the environment, and they believe that all this technology and science has completely damaged the earth, destroyed the earth. They don't use electricity. They use bicycles instead of a car. Ban on television. and not at all you should not look at the computers or anything no eating even bread and biscuits because homemade food is best they believe and even i say that homemade food is the best food in the world children it is in the world you should never eat outside and actually so this was going on and george doesn't think that either television or computer is a bad thing he has, he has, he was really tired to tell his parents that it's possible to save the earth using this computers and the internet but they don't believe they don't listen and don't want any discussion on this topic so how will his questions be his knowledge or his doubts will be cleared so then comes to save one neighbor one next door neighbor annie and his father eric eric was a brilliant scientist and he made a super super computer known as cosmos which can take you to anywhere in the universe it can be any planet it can be star it can be comet it can tell you about black hole anything in the universe so he was ready eric was ready to clear all the doubts of george science can be used for a good cause and a group of good scientists like eric have vowed to use it for people's welfare so he thought that this is not for selfish motives this is for the better for the betterment of the world if you want to know what adventures he undertakes and what strategies he has to use to stop the power hungry scientist you have to read the novel george secret key to the universe this was the novel he is talking about the author of this wonderful adventure is lucy hawking the story of the novel is imaginary but it also includes plenty of charts photographs boxes that give you hard facts about solar system galaxies space and the whole universe so this information has been presented in a very simple easy to understand manner by none other than stephen hawking who is said to be one of the greatest scientists of our times his achievements are all the more astounding amazing as he is a victim of many physical ailments he has to use a wheelchair to move about and uses a computerized voice system in order to speak because one illness has crippled crippled the man or made the man to sit in the chair crippled the man to use the chair the story of stephen hawking's triumph over his physical disabilities is itself an inspiring adventure the book includes very attractive and expressive sketches drawn by gary parsons it is true that excessive use of science and technology can give rise to certain problems but turning away from technology is not the solution that is not the solution at all that is why hawkins have given an important message in this book more research more studies and a commitment to use them not for selfish gains but for the welfare of the entire living world that is what he says stephen hawkins so children give a good reading to the lesson and revise the lesson and complete the exercises in the workbook so until our next session happy learning take care of yourselves thank you